New rules are now in the works for owners of short-term rentals like Airbnbs. The city is calling it a needed modernization of code. Cakes Jackson Overstreet is here now with what the council approved today. Jackson. Deb, there are two main points with the creation uh, with uh, happened today. The creation of a short-term rental zoning and a licensing program for property owners so the city can know where and how many rentals there are. Inside the Wichita City Council Chambers Tuesday, Kelly Reed is sitting and listening to debate of an issue that will impact her directly. New rules and regulations regarding short-term rental properties like Airbnb. When we first started out in 2018, there, there really was no policy per se um, going through the process of making phone calls to the city and to the county and to the state to find out how we go about doing this here in Kansas was uh, cumbersome. The city of Wichita has been working on this policy since 2021 after a fatal shooting at a house party at an Airbnb. Two major changes were passed. One is an adjustment to zoning code to allow for short-term rentals less than seven days. And another is creating a licensing program for owners of those rental properties. Most short-term rentals, I guess up until this goes into effect, have been operating illegally because they allow people to stay less than seven days. So we wanted to make sure we took the steps to make sure we brought that into modernizing our code. One change that was delayed until December, the creation of a nuisance party ordinance. Council members say they want more feedback on the policy before going forward. How can an owner keep control over that property? They're not out there all the time. There's, you know, they can't invade their property. But then I seen that expanded it to the whole city. It wasn't just short term rentals. It was any property. Reed says she isn't happy with all the changes, but overall says that there needed to be something for the city to enforce. So that's why I'm here today to say I'm very much in favor of having a policy so that we aren't out of compliance. Now, these regulations do have to be voted on a second time by the council to go into effect. And once they do, owners of any short term rentals right now uh, between six months and a year, depending on the situation, to get licensed and to get into zoning requirements. In Studio Jackson Overstreet, Cake News on your side.